Yo, what is up guys? Hope you're all having a fantastic day. So Halo MCC finally got a new update. The last update that MCC got was about like six or seven months ago. And there's been so many rumors about MCC coming to an end and not receiving any more updates, which I did make an entire video about if you want more context on that. But based on this update, it seems like MCC is going to continue receiving support, at least in terms of fixes, maybe not new content, but it's nice to know that they're still supporting it. Now what exactly does this update bring? Now it's not too much, but it does bring a few fixes, one of them being a pretty major fix. And that is the fact that they made improvements to the hit registration and projectile speed for Halo 2 Classic. So almost every Halo game had a lot of like hit registration issues. It was mostly noticeable in Halo 3 I believe. And because you know of course people play Halo 3 the most on the Master Chief Collection. That ended up getting a huge update that helped the hit re registration on Halo 3. And it seems like now they moved on to the next game which is Halo 2. Which also had a bunch of issues just like that. And yeah it seems like it finally got fixed. Now I only played a few games i played i played like three arena games and a btb and out of those four games i played it felt so much better it felt like i was actually shooting someone day and night how different it is compared to how it was before and one thing i noticed is that halo 2 is now a lot more popular which makes sense because of this new fix and i hope it actually stays that way because every time i hop onto mcc it's always halo 3 which i don't blame people i mean halo 3 is a great game but it's pretty difficult finding games in other Halo games. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Halo 2 matches are going to pop up a lot more now. Another thing was player selected video backgrounds resetting sometimes when you would close your game, your background would reset to like the default one instead of the one that you changed it to. And so they've made a fix for that so it doesn't keep resetting sometimes. Another thing is when playing Halo 3 and Halo 3 ODST with a mouse and keyboard, Pressing the G key will no longer result in the selected grenade type switching. I didn't know this was in Halo 3, although I've experienced it on ODST. Anyways, the point is, is that whenever you would try to throw grenades, it would end up switching the grenades every time you would throw a grenade, so they finally fixed that. They also fixed another pretty big thing here, multiplayer squads will no longer become stuck if the squad leader leaves the lobby during the check-in for rejoin state. Another thing they also fixed is for Halo 3, and that is the Phantom Hunter achievement, which apparently was broken and didn't really work. So now it can be unlocked consistently by destroying the three phantoms during the campaign mission, The Covenant. And also another fix for the Halo 3 campaign, the Cortana narrative sequences now play as intended in the campaign mission Arrival. And I honestly had no idea that was even a thing. It's been so long since I played the OG Halo 3 that it's kind of hard to notice like the differences, but there definitely is some things that are missing. Some like legacy features and stuff like that. And yeah, some people just like really point that stuff out really well. I don't know how people remember that kind of stuff. So they're just making it play as it was intended. And I'm sure there's still probably some legacy features that are missing or things that are broken on MCC that people don't even realize. Heck, I remember Halo CE not having like the right UI. It had like a completely different one from the original Halo CE. And then they ended up updating that. Um, but yeah, it's interesting having like features like that. Like I honestly don't even remember stuff like that. It's really, it's honestly really eye-opening how like different MCC is from the legacy game. And the rest of the update was just about mods and telling people to like you know, letting them know that they need to update certain stuff, and I think they fixed a couple things there as well. But yeah, it's mostly just bug fixes and just improving the game overall, you know, making it run more like the legacy games. And I guess this does prove that they're still working on MCC, so maybe we'll actually get more stuff in the future instead of just bug fixes. And with that being said, I'll see you guys on the next one. Consider subscribing and liking the video if you want to see more Halo content like this. Peace.